Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Decluttering Sunday, 2023. Every Sunday, we are going to try to do a challenge. Anyone can join in once in a while or every week with me. I have a huge, huge mess in my garden, my garage, my house, and I've been doing YouTube nine years. I have so much clutter, it's ridiculous. So I'm trying to make myself do this every single week because I have to put a post up. And the great thing about doing this post, it doesn't cost me any money except the cost of those trash bags because I'm getting rid of things that I need to get rid of. I'm getting rid of trash. I'm getting things ready to go to the Goodwill. I have a bag of recyclables. So every week it's going to be something a little different, but it's going to be something that's leaving this house and getting things cleaned up and organized. It's amazing how over time you can collect so much stuff. I'm going to try to do a yard sale. Probably it's too hot now. Maybe get things ready to do maybe in October. So I'm going to probably shoot a lot of videos with things that I already own and have that I find when I'm cleaning and decluttering. But a lot of it's going to go into that yard sale because I have to get rid of stuff. I can't even get around my house. Now, when I don't really let clutter bother me that much as a rule, but it's even got to the point where it bothers me. So now it's time to really get cleaning. I'm not quite sure how long it's going to take to get this place looking good again, but I think it's time to start. And it's also time to start organizing as I find things. So the organizing probably is going to have to be redone two or three times because I have so much stuff that isn't where it's supposed to be. So let's see what we got this week. I have the very first bag you see here is just recyclables. So that needs to go to the right recycling center. And I have four bags of trash. Now this isn't regular trash that I put out every week. This is trash I have actually found or decided I don't want, want it. It's not good enough for um, the Goodwill and it's definitely not good enough for a yard sale. So it's going in the trash. Now I do have only one big trash can so I'm also limited to what can go in it every week. So this week we're going to try to put most of these bags in it along with our regular trash. But we're moving right along. I think we will probably have to do a, a get one of the grandsons to help and take some stuff to the dump because I have some other things that are big and heavy that need to just go and uh, get the property cleaned up. So what you're seeing, it isn't all from one place. It's wherever I'm cleaning that day. And uh, I'm still taking care of my husband that's been real sick and it's caused me to get way behind on a lot of stuff. So we got to start getting back in the swing of putting videos up seeing how many videos we can put up that cost me no money, zero, zero, and see how many videos I can put up from things that I find. Because, you know, as I'm cleaning, I'm finding things that I've misplaced or they didn't get put back where they should have, and I couldn't find them. Well, the reason why I couldn't find them because I didn't put them back where they belonged. I don't know if other people have this problem, but I sure do. And my daughter's always telling me, Mom, you've got to get yourself organized. This place is a mess. Well... I know nobody believes I would stick to it, but I am. This video is every Sunday. There may not always be this much trash out here, um, but there's always going to be something. And I know some people would get this thing done and cleaned up much quicker than I'm doing. But you know, I'm 76, taking care of a sick husband, working full time. There's only so much time I have. So I think for my age, I'm doing okay. Eventually, we'll get this place looking beautiful once again. And I also want to get my room done by, I would say by January. I want it, everything out of it. I want it just where I just barely have just what I need in there because I want to start redoing it. And I can't redo it until I get it cleaned up and get everything. I mean, everything needs to be clean. I need to go in that closet and clean it out too. I don't even want to think what's in there. And to get a lot of the stuff out of that room, I got to get the garage cleaned up and organized for I can put it in the garage where it belongs, not in the bedroom. So there's going to be a lot of cleaning and organizing for the next two or three years. And don't worry, I have enough stuff to put up a post every week. There's not going to be a problem at my house. 
because as I'm cleaning and organizing stuff, I'm still, I'm going to slow down on this. I'm still buying things and making more clutter. So uh, I'm going to try next year, and I don't know if I can do it. I'm going to see if I can put up maybe a post. The garden is the only thing I would probably have to spend money on because you do have to buy things for the garden. You know, uh, seeds. Uh, I don't know if I need to buy a lot of seeds since I have a lot. But you also have to buy, you know, stuff to fertilize the ground and, you know, mulch and, and different things. So there's money to be spent there. But I think with my home decor, I'm really going to see if I don't have to spend any money. Because honestly, I think I have enough home decor. If you see my house, my garage, and my patio, uh, it looks like a lot of home decor to me. I don't think the only thing I should have to spend money on is going to be the garden. And even that, I could probably cut down by... 60% what I normally would spend because my garden is becoming more and more like a food forest every year. Just look at all the carrots I have growing. So we will just see what we can do and get accomplished. And uh, I'm going to share with you what I found as I was cleaning this week. Well, this is what I found this week. And it's amazing the things that we find that we cannot find. Like uh, these two plates, I have the teapot that goes to this and I did do a post with the teapot and I was so mad I couldn't find these plates I knew I bought them when I bought the teapot that's why I bought the teapot and I was shocked when I was cleaning a different room than where that teapot was there was those two plates I need to clean them up and take the prices off and as you can see buying at a secondhand store is not always cheap either these were two dollars each so I wouldn't say they were cheap but they had the teapot, and I thought, go ahead and buy it. At least you'll have something you can use for Tablescape Tuesday or Tea Tuesday. And I always love finding beautiful things. And at the same store, I found these little black plates, and um, I bought them. I thought they'd be great for a display, and of course, Halloween is coming. Now, these were not just bought. These were bought probably six months, maybe a year ago. And now we're going to come to some things that I don't know when I bought them years ago, four, three to four years ago, maybe longer. I need to wash this um, tent up, and I'm not even quite sure why that's on the tent. But I'm assuming, and I don't know if I bought this at a secondhand store or where I bought it, because I can't remember where I got it. But it's very, very heavy and very well made. Now I have this cute little bunny that I don't know when I bought it either, but it was with this little um, teapot. So it was probably bought over at M&M Nurseries because it's a miniature uh, store. So I am pretty sure that this little tea set was bought there and this little rabbit at the same time because they were in the same container. So these are going to go, I have some boxes for small little miniatures that I like to use in different displays and then I bring them back in the house because I don't want to lose them. Uh, that's where they're going when I'm done shooting a video this week with them. So I think we're going to do a little camping video with that little mouse, or no, not a mouse, a little rabbit. I think that's a rabbit. I don't know if it's a mouse or a rabbit. Uh, I think it's a rabbit. Yeah. So anyway, I think it's a rabbit. And so we will put that rabbit probably with the teapot and we're going to put that rabbit probably with the tent. And so maybe I'll make two different uh, miniature displays this week with these items. Because, um, you know, I'm trying to do my best to put as many posts together as I can and I don't spend any money. And of course, the flower arrangement is something that I always have. It's not something I've lost or misplaced. I have, I don't know if you remember seeing it, I had a video a while back showing that I've got all, I'm trying to get all my flowers organized and put them in displays and, um, you know, get everything looking good again. So, you know, we just do the best we can and um, I, I've just got to get things going. I'm going to start looking for some more um, containers, but I'm going to wait 
before I do it because, you know, the way I am, I could have a ton of containers already here paid for. I just don't know where they are until I start really cleaning things up. So we'll see what we can find and what I can use because I have a lot of flowers. I would like to get out of boxes and get actual flower arrangements done. This one looks like this on one side and I can turn this around and I can have it look like this on the other side. Uh, I think I might start doing a lot more of that. I need to take all my flower arrangements apart and redo them. And I think I'm gonna try to do them where I can turn them around and have them look one way on one side and turn them around the other and have them look different because I have so much clutter. I, I've got to organize. I've got to get things where I have more, where, like that way every flower arrangement could be used with two different flower arrangements if I change the flowers and colors on the opposite side of the container. I got to start becoming more efficient on how I do stuff. There's only so much space in a tiny house and I've already way, way years ago passed how much would be in this house. But I, I do so many arrangements, so many posts, I have to figure out how to make it look great. So let me know what you think about all my decluttering and thinking of redoing all my flower arrangements for I can turn them on the other side and see something totally different to go with a different arrangement. I think it's a great idea. I already did it on this, but I'm taking it apart and I'm still gonna change a few more things out. I need to also redo this, this side here. The other side is finished, this side isn't because this was a new idea that I just came up with. So I'm gonna pull this whole thing apart, redo it for it's finished on both sides at the bottom and that way I can have a lot of different themes and not take up so much space in my home. Well, thank you for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed what we did today. Like I said, we'll have some posts coming up and sharing us using these items. Hope you come back and see what I come up with.